Ready to try your luck again? If you'll all be so kind as to ante up. And now for another bounty challenge. Ashley, if you would. I really hope one of you guys takes this off my hands this time. To claim the bounty, all you have to do is win the tournament. Tonight we'll be playing Omaha Hold'em. Race. Nope. Call, fold. It's all the same to me. Uh, I don't like bluffing, so. Call. <laughs> oh, fuzzy head. Impressive. <clears throat> ah, what the hell? <laughs> Guess I'll call. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, jeez. The player has three of a kind, and Mr. Williams has a pair of kings. The player wins the hand. If I had a hand like that, it'd look really weird on the end of my dog arm. Ashley Williams has been eliminated. I knew I shouldn't have trusted that gypsy charm. I haven't seen a streak this ugly since Max accidentally sprinkled horse laxatives into Bosco's Benangatini. I feel lucky. What about you, Buck? Check! Check. Checking! Check. Betting. I don't know. I'll raise. I'll fold. Good for you. Mr. Samson has two pair, and our silent friend has a straight. The player wins. You know what they say, lucky in cards, unlucky in love. Oh wait, that's a bad thing, isn't it? Is it true that Doc Venture was in a video game back in the 70s? Yeah, uh, back in the cartoon days, someone thought it'd be a good idea to turn Rusty's adventures into a video game. <laughs> Made that E.T. game look like Halo. What about you, big guy? You ever star in a video game? Not, uh, intentionally. I'm all fucking in. Really? All in? Great day in the morning. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Oh, yeah. 
The little robot has a pair of jacks. The player has a pair of aces. Brock has a flush. On the side pot, the player wins the hand. And on the main pot, Mr. Samson wins the pot. Cool. The robot from Pandora is out of chips. I'm out? Really? I was just getting started! Trust me, you weren't. Looks like I'm folding. I can. Brock steals the blinds. Let's see if we can keep this gravy train rolling. I call. Checo. Check. I'll check. Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. Nah. I fold. The player takes the pot. You appear to be nodding off. Let's see if moving the blinds up to 600 and 1200 gets your attention. What's so funny? I just realized that you're a dog playing poker. <laughs> playing poker! I don't get it. You might want to pace yourself there. There you go. Call. <laughs> Check. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. I'm out. Uh, I'll raise. Ah, no mercy. Nope. The player takes the pot. I fold. I got a question. Is it a riddle? I hate riddles. And clowns. Are you some sort of super evolved dog that walks and talks like a man, or a freakishly disfigured man that looks like a dog? Brock steals the blinds. Yeah, that was probably the right call. Man. Anywho... Uh, I don't really know. Max, what am I? Well, duh, you're a doof, Sam. I'm in. Checo. <laughs> Check. Check. Seriously, that's the way you're gonna play. I go. I think I'll call. <laughs> I'll bet. Fold. Sure, I'll toss out a few chips. Mr. Samson has three of a kind. The player has a full house. The player wins. <laughs> Lucky bastard.
Sure, why not? I'll call. What to do? What to do? What to do? All in. Damn. I think I'll bow out of this little pissing contest. Nice. Yippee! The player has two pair. Sam has two pair. Sam wins with the higher pairs. Wait, was that a pity win? You play a lot of poker, Brock? Look, I know my way around the table. Of course, the stakes I play for are usually, uh, juicier. Juicier? Like Mookie Wilson rookie cards juicier? Well, juicier, like launch codes, pinky fingers, sexual favors, that kind of thing. I guess it's a good thing the stakes are so low tonight. The way your luck's been running, you'd be out of fingers by now. The night's still young. All in. Woo, nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. The player has a pair of sevens. Sam has a full house. Sam takes the pot. Is this what good luck feels like? I enjoy these little games. I enjoy them even more when they're bigger. The blinds are now 800 and 1600. Call. I'll raise. Well, I probably wouldn't have done that. But I'm not you. He's gotta be bluffing, right? I'll stay in, cause I'm crazy. You know, Brock, you remind me of someone. Well, I get that a lot. People say I talk like some guy they saw on television. <laughs> no, it's not that. Sal! Ah, oh, damn it, all in. Great day in the morning. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> oh! Brock Samson has a pair of sixes, and you have two pair. The player wins the hand. Congratulations, you've converted a nearly unbeatable hand into a victory. Brock Samson has been eliminated. You know, my mom warned me against playing poker with dogs, robots, cripples, and mutes. Guess I should have listened to her. I call. No sense rocking the boat now. Thank you. 
There's a fine line between brilliance and stupidity. I'm pretty sure we're all straddling it like a Lithuanian lap dancer. Check. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Check. The player has two pair. Sam has two pair. The player wins with the higher pairs. I don't think even Harry Molman would have messed up that hand. Oh, great. How am I going to make small talk with a mute? Check. Checorema. Hmm. Call? Check. I'll check. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. Um, I call. Sam has a pair of tens, and the player has two pair. The player wins. That's a relief. I was worried you might screw that up again. I call. Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. Uh, fudge. All in. I don't want to alarm you, but I think you're having a psychotic break. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, yes. The player has a flush. Sam has a flush. Sam wins with a high flush. All the heck in. Is that a good idea? Because honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. Yes. Sam has two pair, and our silent friend has a pair of fives. Sam wins. Hey, I won again. I wonder what that means. It means you're on a roll, baby. Bet everything! The blinds are now set at 1,000 and 2,000. Nice round numbers. This tournament is giving me an overwhelming sense of deja vu. Now I remember. It's just like that time my lab rats fought over a piece of cheese. The funny thing is the rats didn't really need to eat the cheese. They were just conditioned to want the cheese by weeks of electrical stimulation. In the end they killed each other, and the cheese was eaten by one of the human test subjects. He died too, because the cheese was moldy. All in. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Ooh, I 
think I just got kicked in the statisticals. <laughs> oh, no. The player has a full house. Sam has a flush. The player wins the hand. Nice job keeping victory squarely in the jaw of victory. That's the kind of loss that'll linger for weeks. Or until Max does something funny. Right. Where were we? It's about time. I've been trying to get rid of that damn book for years.